I'm so sorry, okay? I just can't take this madness anymore. It's just been driving me crazy. I, I have to go now, okay? I'm sorry. Where are you going? Wait, hang on. Wait. Well, yeah, look, yeah, true, she has taken her things. But I think it's only temporary. Are you okay, man? You're imagining weird stuff again, aren't you? Yeah, look, that's the way she is. It's only a matter of the time. She'll come back. Don't worry about it, you'll see. Yeah, look, I gotta go, bye. How long since we've seen each other? Has it been an hour? Has it been two days, two weeks, a whole year? How long has it been? Yeah, hi, listen, it's me. Oh, you again. I only wanted to know, are you all right? It's just that this relationship's just turned into such a mess and it's turned me into a really horrible person and it's completely useless to carry on. Don't leave me. Stay here with me, please. Please stay here. I give her everything she has. I do everything she wants. I only live for her. I care only for her. I mean, I don't understand. Everything I do is for her. I cook, I clean, I care, I take her out, I, I buy her things. I mean, what does she want? It's almost like it's not enough for her. She wants my fucking soul as well. And she can have my soul. I've given her my soul, I've given her my heart. Everything I've given her. I give her my life. I give her my time. I go to work. I earn the money for her. In fact, she is me and I am her. That's the way I see it. We're not two people anymore. We're not two separate people. We're one person, one soul, one heart, one beat. There is no two here anymore. There's only one. We've created one. We've come together as one. Do me that one favor. Just don't leave me alone. Yeah. Just stay with me. Stay with me. Don't leave me alone. Please. Please. Oh, I can't believe we got into this point in our relationship. I'm so sorry. I've, I've been trying to make this fucking work, but just look at you. How are you supposed to fucking love somebody like you? Just Shall I make us something to eat? That's it. I'll make something to eat. What about some rice and some vegetables? I went shopping today. And you like rice. Maybe we could have some friends around too. Some potatoes. <coughs> some chicken. I like chicken. That's why I need you. Without you, I'm nothing. No one will ever see me again. The way you've seen me, it's like... I need you. Peter, what happened? What have you done to her? Why is she so scared of you? Scared. But she said she loves me. She likes me to do everything for her.
Maybe she's jealous. That's the way she is. Are you... Are you happy? Is this... Is there something you're hiding from me? Maybe? In the morning I take the sodium. And the magne... The doctor has me on the magnesium as well. And you suggested the tranxilium, so... No, Mum, I haven't forgotten. I've taken the tranxilium already. Nah, leave her. Leave her, don't call her. No, I'd say she's round other sisters. Yeah. No, I don't need you to come round. I'm all right at the moment. I'm all right. I've been through this before with her. No, I'm not worried. She will. You watch. She always does in the end. She always does. My head's full with this now, you know. I just want to stay here and wait. You, you really are behaving very strangely at the moment. But you just need to come into my arms. Let me hold you. Yeah, I don't care. I ain't going to treat her with any pity or fucking kindness. Why should I? I show her who's boss when she comes back. I think that afterwards, then I might treat her with a bit of kindness and sweetness. That would work, I reckon. Make me feel special. Hold me. Come on. Just make me feel it. Make me feel that that I am precious, and and you just you just have to hold me. Just 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 come and hold me. And make me feel like I am precious. I <laughs> I do belong. I'm precious. Hello, you've reached the answering machine of Anne. I'm not here to take your call right now, but if you leave your name and number, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bitch. She's horrible, she can't see you, man. She said that yours has been the most pathetic experience she's ever lived. So she can't support you anymore, man. Yeah, yeah hold on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. <laughs> and uh, that you have been like moaning all the time about everything, you know? That you must be like cyclical or something, cause uh, you seem to be doing a little bit better and then you just fall back down, man. Hold on. Uh, well, that you should like uh, handle your life, you know? That uh, you need professional help. And, uh, <laughs> well, the. That perhaps you're gay and you just don't know that, man. <laughs> and uh, that's it. Well, take it easy, man. See you, bye-bye. Only joking. I'll always be here in your fantasy. As far as I know, she's staying with her sisters at the moment. And that's fine with me, right? I'm all right, I'm moving on. She's been calling me every second day on the machine, but I'm not gonna answer. I'm not gonna answer her this time. I've had enough, and I think she's starting to get the message now. There's loads of women out there, loads of them out there. And the truth is, I didn't really want to be with her, you know. But I'm not taking her back this time. It's been going on too many times now. She
she leaves, I take her back. She leaves, I take her back. Why should I? Huh? Why should I? I've got my dignity to think of here. I thought it was the true love thing. And it was for a while. But I, I think it was just... I think it was just one of these phases I was going through. Huh? I think she'll be sorry at the end of the day, you know? That's it. She'll regret it. That's it. I'm at the point where I just don't want to know anymore. And I don't need her. You can see that, Shirley. I mean, look at me. I look good. I'm healthy. I'm happy. I've never been happier, actually. This is the happiest I've been in my life. I will come back to you. As soon as you ask me, I'll come back to you. I'm just waiting for you to ask me. Uh, how many times do you want me to tell you that? I mean, sooner or later, I'm, I'm going to have to let her come back, you know? But the, the, the situation's coming. I can feel it, you know? I don't know what she's playing at. I don't, I don't even know where I'm at with it, the whole thing, but... Fucking hell. This situation is just like... I'm normally good with these situations, you know what I mean? I normally handle things nice and smoothly, but... Although I think I've handled this one quite well. Have you been speaking to her? Because... Come here, come to Mama. You know you need me. And without me, <laughs> you are nothing. Well, Jean, we came to try to help you. It will be better for you to stop all this, man. We believe it's time for you to leave her alone and to leave us alone, too. She has already another man. She has her life on the way. Let her have peace. We only want to help you. Why don't you try taking care of your own business? Or maybe find a good job. It's time to leave her alone. Stop calling her. Stop looking at her. Following her. This is the time to finish with it, man. We're sorry to tell you this, but it's enough. You are our friend. But she was our friend from before. And if we have to choose, we choose her. So shut your mouth for a while and keep your opinions to yourself. Don't stop thinking about me. Sit there and wait. And think of me, wait for me, call my name. Don't get me out of your head. You are mine and I am yours. We belong together. We're everything for each other. Don't get me out of your head. And don't stop thinking about me. Just sit there. Think of only me, only I must be in your head. Sit there, sit there, sit there and wait for me, wait for me. You, you are mine and I am yours. We belong together. No matter how difficult it can be, we have to accept defeat. We have to let the hurt go and let the pain heal and move on with our life. What I need now is some time alone. I'm gonna learn to get along with myself. And in turn, I'll learn to get along with others. No, listen, Mum, if I decide to get married, you'll be the first to know, don't you worry. <laughs> nah, nah, not like the last time. I'm playing the field a little this time. <laughs> of course you won't be dead before you have grandchildren. I'm working on it. I just want to kind of 
do it the way I'm doing it at the moment, you know what I mean? I've moved on. I'm at a new chapter in my life and I feel I feel free. I feel like a free man. I know you may not believe it, but I feel free. And I feel good in myself. I'm ready to find a new love, a new woman, maybe settle down and have some children. I don't know. All I know is it's not going to be with Anna. She's gone. And that's just the way life is. I think that's the way life works. I'm going to move forward, reach my goals, become that person I wanted to be. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I deserve this, actually. I've only got myself to thank. Yeah. Next step, managing director. Yeah, you knew I'd get this. You knew it. And where are you now? Huh? Be faithful to my ideas. To understand that life's not always going to be the way we want it to be. Become a useful man. The man that I always wanted to be. A man in control of his emotions that women can be proud of. I knew you'd understand. From now on, I'm gonna make sure that nobody ever hurts you again. It's just our little secret, my boy. You're mine.